In the Economy Watch, consumer confidence ticked up slightly in May, and small glimmers of hope are coming through in the housing sector. Let's bring in Rob Stein, CEO of Esther Investment Management. Rob, your Esther Economic Index doesn't look as bad as the economic crash. How rough of a shape is the current economy now compared to then? Well, it's different, uh, Angie. You know, the financial crash, a lot of different factors. This is purely unemployment. As you can see, the numbers are through the roof, tens of millions. Uh, and output, GDP, which is crashed to negative in a very, very short time frame. Uh, in fact, I would say it's too early to see where we really are. How many people are going to come back to work? How much are we going to consume and buy other than just Amazon? So, yes, it's it's different than last time as far as how the data looks, but it's incredibly uncertain. What do you think about the future of the economy? Well, I believe that the Fed and the Treasury are building a bridge. And what they've done is they've thrown a lot of things at the economy, at the market, and even the consumer. Many people got checks for a thousand, two thousand, and then some. Uh, and so what I think is going to occur is a bridge is going to get built from when shutdown is over to when things slowly open. And Angie, the real question is, are we going to get over that bridge? Uh, or are we going to get to the middle of the bridge and find another problem? And again, it's too soon to tell. It looks like the bridge is pretty stable and we'll be able to go back to a more normalized economy. Uh, growth that we had in 18, a 19 growth started to occur, I think is a long way off. But certainly a normal economy or a normal economy that has headwinds uh, is certainly in the cards. As an economist, are you concerned about the big government spending that's going on now to prop up the economy? And meantime, the US is going into this humongous amount of debt. Yeah, and I, I wrote about this the other day, uh, on our blog, I think eventually that does become inflationary. You know, too much money, which the Fed and the Treasury have put out there facing, chasing too few goods, which with the supply chain uh, 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 stuck and the Fed issuing trillions of dollars of bonds, uh, it seems to me that the path of least resistance is higher rates and inflation ultimately. So while I think we're building this bridge, uh, I can see getting the other side of the bridge having some inflationary pressures uh, with all the bonds and all the debt. And it's problematic for the economy in the future, uh, but as, as it sits right now, we can absorb that. Ah, thank you, Rob. We'll leave you on that note. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate that, Angie. Thanks, have a great day. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.